day off and we're gonna go for a little ride down to Newport, Rhode Island. All right, let's talk about loud exhaust. Every bike I own pretty much had a lot of exhaust, except my first one, which is the Yamaha Sega. So I like a lot of exhaust that sounds good, has a nice deep tone to it, but that's just my preference. The only thing I'm starting to hate about pipes, people with pipes, straight pipes, loud mufflers, blah, 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 is when I'm sitting in my house, I can't hear a thing. I got a neighbor, he's got a Holly. I think he's got straight pipes on that thing. I don't even know what he's thinking. You know, he goes up and down that road. That thing is blaring. And of course, he's got to go by my house to get out. And then you got the kids with the dirt bikes up and down the street. And I'm not talking once or twice. I'm talking, they're up and down constantly. Then you got the street bikes. And what I like to call crotch rockets. Oh, that's at least what we called them in my day. Crotch rockets. And they're loud as freaking shit. So, I don't care what kind of bike you got. If it's that loud, if it's obnoxious, and you're, and you're doing it in your own neighborhood, I mean, at some point, I'm going to get fed up with it. I know other people are going to get fed up with it. Now, like I said, I used to have a lot of bikes. This guy's going full as dirt. Oh, shit, we got a train. Now that's a sight to be seen. I haven't seen what train uh, come through here in a long time. Cool shit. What the hell is this guy doing? So people are going to get sick of it, you know, at some point, you know, you're trying to sit in your house watching a movie, uh, working on your computer, doing some editing, whatever, and here comes this bike, rah, shaking the whole freaking house. It's unbelievable. And like I said, I had a lot of bikes, you know. Even my Holly used to be loud when I bought it used. I actually took the muffles off. I couldn't stand those uh, fishtails. They look nice, but they were so loud, man. I couldn't even hear myself think. This guy's scared to death to drive. You're out there going up and down the same freaking road. People are going to get annoyed. I know I'm getting annoyed. And uh, I'm pretty close to just running out there and tackling one of them dudes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. But no, seriously, I understand the kids, you know, because they don't know any better. I mean, I didn't know any better when I was young. I thought it was cool, it was a shit to do. You know, hey, look at me, my bike's loud. But man, when you got 30, 40, 50 year olds riding freaking Harley Davidson's that'll freaking make your house shake and set off your car alarms, what are you thinking? Seriously, you know, you ride that thing for two more years, you're going to go deaf. The other thing I hear all the time is, oh, loud pipes save lives. Let me tell you something, loud pipes don't save lives. You know when you ride with people who got loud pipes, what do you do? You put them in the back of the pack, why? Because you can't hear them in the front. So cars that you're coming up on, they're not gonna hear you, all right? They're not gonna hear you until you're up on them. It's just the way the noise travels. It travels behind you, not front of you. I don't think that loud pipes save lives. You can blow that smoke up my ass all day long, I'm still not gonna believe it. Defensive riding, being aware of your surroundings, staying away from vehicles. I think that's what's going to save your life on the road. Not uh, loud ass pipes that are going to make you deaf. But hey, to each their own. Anyway, all I want to say in the end is be respectful when you're in the neighborhood. You know, if you got a loud bike, just try to, you know, keep it down a little bit. Don't rev it six, seven times on one main road like this guy. You know, just be respectful of the people that live there. You know, I don't mind hearing a loud bike every now and then going down the road. I think it sounds sweet, but I can't stand it when they start revving the shit out of it for no reason. Just irritate people in their neighborhood. Let's try to all get along, as they say. All right, Mike out. I'm on my way to Newport. Take care, y'all.